I heard they used to put death to people like me. Even if people like me were minding their business, strolling down the wrong dirt road behind some abandoned farm, we were hung by our neck, cut by our skin, beat with shotgun butts and old yard sticks. And if we were lucky, if our mouths function long enough, our half dead screens would pierce through the wind that hugged the night as our minds try to fight off the fire that our body consumes, but couldn't fully endure these flames that was put to us. And it's funny. It's funny how y'all think men like women weren't raped and tortured. Like my skin is like skin for no reason. Like half white babies made it more than four days when slavery was abroad. Them broads kill me with that old shoot em up. I couldn't call them men when they're more like dull ass brushes that ain't gonna see the big picture anyway. So why bother? It's like for centuries I've been fighting. For centuries I've been dying. For centuries I've been trying not to let this be the reason I hate. But my blood burns. My eyes run. Every time I even look at a tree that resembles one a nigga was hanged from. I can't stomach being whipped or being stripped because of the color of my skin. So every time I write a slave poem, my paper bleeds. <laughs> My pencils break across blue lines, screaming in the edges, try to have humility on my words, but not even my notebook or stomach, the soliloquy that my friends, your friends, every record exec and white, white collar managers, ancestors were conducive to the reason that half of my people will never survive, and I am tired. I'm tired of seeing these rappers sell themselves short just to make a penny. Anything to make a quarter, anything to make a dollar, jump stupid dollar. I've never seen cooning disguised so well. And if you thought, if you thought for one moment that things were going to change, I got news for you, they don't see. I done been in offices with bosses, and I tell you right now, these record labels ain't got nothing to offer. Half off in black boy with some beat down street corner who wanted to survive, but ain't want to put his work in. I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing history repeat itself. How ignorant can one be when they say they abolish slavery, but they could have fooled me the way they lynch dreams and write us off for tax brackets using advance clauses as a new way shackle or put us on the shelf like some old f I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the same black men with the same expectations of themselves. Tired of seeing daddyless girls sell their soul because the same men leave them heartless in this male-dominant world. And what's worse is seeing a person that thinks the government has nothing to do with why they are the way they are. It's seeing a person that thinks the government has everything to do with it. And I am tired. I'm tired of blaming you. I'm tired of hating you. But most of all, I'm tired of us making you responsible for everything that your ancestors are putting us through. Had to fight off headaches, cause I told myself, black men like me will never pick cotton again, even if it means throw a aspirin bottle. Society never wanted me to make it. So I guess the gravity, I guess the gravity ain't the only thing that's been holding me down lately, but I don't hate you. Matter of fact, I don't even despise you. I think I love you more than I can love half of my ignorant brothers. And I know, I know my brothers ain't as merciful. But you gotta understand, it's kinda hard teaching high school boys that whips and chains and whips and chains are symmetrical. So from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry that we are the way we are. But you gotta understand, told us a change was going to come. And I am just so tired of waiting. <laughs>